2016 US presidential election is not the first time the Russians have tried to influence Western democratic processes. We are going to keep our country safe. At all times in my experience and knowledge, we, the Soviets, always tried to influence the election. Oleg Kalugin was a Soviet spy stationed in the United States in the late 50s. He joined the KGB, the Soviet Union's secret service, in 1952, a year before Stalin's death. He rose quickly through the ranks, becoming the KGB's youngest general at the age of 38. In 1975, the KGB got a new recruit, Russia's future president, Vladimir Putin. Putin proved to be an effective manager because of his vigorous, business-like approach. The only foreign assignment Putin ever had was East Germany. While Putin was a low-ranking KGB officer, Mr. Kalugin was one of the top Soviet spies. My main job in the KGB was recruitment of human sources, foreign sources. I was quite successful. I recruited several people. They provided me with classified information. All of them were Americans. When Mikhail Gorbachev became the general secretary of the Communist Party in 1985 and launched Perestroika, the political movement for reformation in the party, Kalugin joined the camp of the reformers and spoke out against the KGB. I was transferred to St. Petersburg and for the first time I learned truth about my own country, to work against your own people. Now it was the people of Russia who wanted a change, who wanted the reforms, and my job was to gag them up, silence them, or put in jail. My knowledge of my own country under the Soviet system made me a different man. Kalugin was removed from the KGB and sought political immunity in the Soviet parliament. Later, he claimed political asylum in America, where he lives today. He is now a prominent critic of the Soviet system and his former KGB subordinate, Vladimir Putin. It so happened that Mr. Putin, my former subordinate, came to power and publicly denounced me as a traitor. Well, I publicly called him a war criminal for the war in Chechnya. Putin, as a leader, he is smart, he is sly, he is sinful, period. It is alleged that a Kremlin-linked group interfered with the 2016 US election to damage the prospects of Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. Never been afraid to stand up to Donald Trump. 13 Russians and three Russian organizations have been indicted as part of an investigation into Russian election interference. President Putin denies any involvement by the Kremlin. In this case, I believe the Russian hackers were not just individuals doing things on their own. They were motivated or directed by the bosses in Moscow. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, Russia's first president, Boris Yeltsin, divided the KGB and renamed it, but he didn't close it down. The KGB, now known as the FSB, has even more political power than it had under the Communist Party in the Soviet era. Today, the FSB is running the country, and the president of the country is a former KGB officer. Many say Putin's 15 years in the KGB has characterized his leadership and the Russian state. Putin is not a dictator of the old days. He is a far more sophisticated man. He knows how to manipulate people. If someone really is not uh, careful enough, may be removed through polonium or something else. The KGB might have been renamed, but its modus operandi remains the same. The heart of the Russian security services at all times was control of people's minds and hearts, keeping them obedient servants of the state. The techniques of Russia's intelligence services have changed since Kalugin's time when human sources were key. Today, modern techniques like hacking, trolling, and fake online accounts are the weapon of choice. One thing is certain, the KGB was removed in nothing but name 
and is still firmly at the heart of the Russian state.